Marrakesh, its lively squares, its crowds of people and its local entertainment. Centuries of existence, and the square of Jimalfna is still a place of gathering, commerce and tradition. Crowded with storytellers, snake charmers and henna artists, it is difficult to decide where to go and where to look without being hassled into buying something or paying for taking pictures. The Zouk of Marrakesh is the largest one in Morocco, a complicated maze of narrow streets, almost impossible to navigate without going the same way in and out. You have to be constantly aware of donkey carts, motorcycles and bikes that often go at reckless speeds. In the Zouk, you will find everything from friendly colonies of cats to a range of exotic and colorful spices, a variety of tea sets, local street art, and of course, food. We enjoyed the winter sun and taking a walk in the quieter environment of the Bahia Palace. With the heat of the day gone, the sunset marks the revival of commercial activities around the square, so that by night, Jima Ifna is busier than ever. Moroccan food is amazing. On the square, there are endless places to eat for cheap, and the quality of the food is very high, not to mention the incredible selection of dried fruits and nuts. All in all, Marrakesh has been an exciting and chaotic experience. I don't really know what to expect, but I've never really seen anything like this square, so full of life and energy. There's something truly magical about it. For me, Marrakesh is a place where the ancient blends in effortlessly with the new. We arrived a bit late to the taxi stand, so there were no other travelers around to share a taxi to Imlil. We had to hire our own private one, which was comfortable, but double the price. Hassan welcomed us and took us to his family house high up in the hills. We had a cozy room and a breathtaking view of Morocco's highest peak, the majestic Tukal. As part of Berber hospitality, we were offered delicious mint tea. We walked down to the village to have a look around. Here people greet you with Salam Alaikum, which means peace be with you. Here we were 1600 meters above sea level in the middle of winter, so it could get really cold in the shadows, which is why a little warmth is always welcome. We had breakfast with our new Moroccan friends, who invited us to their family home for a traditional Moroccan meal if we were to pass through Casablanca. For me, nature is a sacred place and nothing is as soothing as its music. The life straw is a water filtering tool to drink water that you're not so sure about.
looking over this pristine beauty, I was completely in the here and now, thankful for everything. After Imlil, we decided to head 500 kilometers south to warmer climates. It took us different means of transportation to get there, from wobbly buses that took us over beautiful mountain ridges, to overcrowded small taxis between the different towns, with three people at the front and four people at the back, an uncomfortable adventure in itself. We traveled most of the day and well into the night. Finally, after 12 long hours, we arrived at our destination, Tafraut. 